Hi guys, so today is a big day for us, for this little man. <laughs> so we are attempting, <laughs> he's trying to get in the frame, we are attempting to move a certain little person, come sit down then, into a big bed today. Um, if we're counting months, he is 20. Yeah, if we're counting months, I think he's 20 months. We kind of stopped counting months. Um, so, a little backstory. He co slept with us in bed until he was 11 months old. We just found it easier. We did attempt a next to me crib, but that kind of never worked. Hi! <laughs> It's a little bit crazy, I apologise. Um, so we co-slept until 11 months and then up until 15 months he was going in his cot for the first two or three hours of the night and then he was back in with us. Um, I was still breastfeeding to sleep and breastfeeding in the night at that point. Um, at 15 months we decided to try and stop the feeding in the night and feeding to sleep because we were finding that was the only way he was actually sleeping is if he wasn't waking for feeds um, and kind of from that 15 month point once we stopped feeding to sleep and we just used to rock him to sleep instead he actually started sleeping most of the night in his cot and now he's pretty much consistent most nights apart from last night <laughs> that he will sleep from around half past nine ten o'clock through to between 7 and 8 in the morning without waking. So we, um, we've put off putting him into a big bed at this point um, because at the moment he goes in the cot awake and then one of us will lie on the floor next to the bed and hold his hand through the bars until he falls asleep and that has worked perfectly and we're not bothered about it at the moment but this little man is very tall um, so he is actually going to outgrow his cot pretty soon. So that's the size of his cot behind me, as you can see. Um, and it won't be long until he is reaching one end to the other. So we finally decided we probably have to. He's <laughs> just making the most noise possible. Um, we have to move him into a big bed. And just hope that he still goes to sleep in the big bed and we don't have to try learning to sleep all over again. Um, we have been lucky, we have borrowed a toddler bed off a friend. Um, my best friend, Elian's godmother, has lent us a toddler bed uh, that her little boy used of his grandparents, so it didn't really use much. So we are gonna take this down and put up the toddler bed today and then um, we shall see how the switch to the big bed goes. Oh. Oh. You're on camera. Yeah. <laughs> so I will show you his room briefly before before we get started. <laughs> it is actually still not finished being decorated officially. Yeah. Yeah. Because he didn't move in here until a few months ago, we never really finished decorating it. So I will show you guys anyway. Said you guys even wanted the drawers in your yard. Just you, you helping you? Consolidating, man. You putting them all in there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that. <laughs> I don't think that'll fit in the drawer. So this is his cot at the moment, it's an Ikea cot, <laughs> he's hiding in his teepee. Where are you? <laughs> it's one of the uh, cots from Ikea uh, with some bunting and he actually has a um, memory foam pillow because that's how we found he was sleeping in our bed and a little quilt on the wall we've got some some shells and some pictures oh 
And then this is obviously his new bed. This is John and Opie. <laughs> so this wall will all be sorted very soon with, we've got some pictures and some final stickers. And then we have bookshelves, which are here waiting to go up on this wall. This is another Ikea Kallax that has toys in it. There is another set of curtains to go there, the same as these curtains. Look at a fox clock. And his TP. And his very nice star rug. So let's get this taken apart. That's your job. You can do it. No, it's alright, you can do that. <laughs> oh, now he's going to make a mess with some toys instead. to get up there yeah and um, we're gonna buy him proper bedding but this is his quilt that he's had for the last few months so we're gonna leave him with this for the next few nights and then we will get some proper toddler bedding oh dude <laughs> they love each other <laughs> oh. <laughs> what'd you do back oh, back don't back care more. don't care so you're gonna sleep here tonight mister you're gonna sleep here tonight? Hope he's like, I'll sleep here. <laughs> Careful. Hope down. So your new bed? Oh, right, yep. Yeah. Yep, he's like, I'm good, yeah. I'm good, thanks. <laughs> so uh, we will we will fill you guys in tonight with how it goes and then in the morning hopefully. <laughs> hey guys, I just wanted to give you an update of how the first night in the big bed went. Um, so we did our bedtime routine as usual. We went upstairs at nine o'clock, he did his teeth, he got changed into his pajamas. Then we went into his room and um, he laid down in bed, pulled the quilt up and I started reading him a story, um, which was fine for the first four or five pages. He was just looking at the pictures and everything. Um, but then he decided that he wanted to get up and play instead. So obviously he could actually get out of bed, which he hasn't been able to do for. So he got up and he tried to start playing with toys. So I kept having to put him back into bed and say, no, no, it's, it's bedtime now, sleepy time now, we're gonna read a book. And I'd try to carry on reading. That wasn't working. So then I decided to try and lay on the outside edge of the bed um, in like the hope of him staying inside me which worked for another page or two and then no nope, wanted to get out again so I said all right fine time for sleepies then and I turned off the light this was about quarter past nine 
Usually it takes him about 15-20 minutes to go to sleep from that point, um, but last night he took closer to 40, which was, which was hard going. He just kept like, he was comfy and everything, he just kept like getting up on his elbows and like looking over to see if I was still there and stuff, but eventually he did go to sleep. Um, I was a bit worried in the night in case he did roll out. Um, he like scooched all the way down on the bed and everything, uh, so he was like below where the little rail was. So I did just put two blankets on the floor just in case, but he didn't. And he slept from just before 10 right through to quarter to seven this morning. Even then he kind of only like half woke up. He was grizzling and he was restless and just kept tossing and turning. So I went in and I, I got him out of bed and we came downstairs and had his milk. So yeah, I think the first night was a success. It went really well, which I'm really glad about. Um, so hopefully it will carry on from this point now. I will give you guys an update again in a few days time, just in, just let you know if it's still going okay or if anything's changed. But in the meantime, I thought I would show you this. Look at the snow. There's like proper snow out there. <laughs> Beautiful. It's about two inches thick at the moment. It's still coming down in flurries every now and again. Hey guys, so we've now done three nights um, in the toddler bed instead of the cot. First night, like I said, it took like 45 minutes for him to go to sleep. The second night, he actually crashed within like 10 minutes. I don't know whether he was just more tired than usual. Um, and then last night was actually the hardest. And he was knackered as well. Um, but he kept like picking his head up and he kept patting his pillow next to him um, so I did end up curling up in bed with him which I didn't want to do um, but I didn't nurse him which was a, an improvement because usually if he's cuddling in bed with me he wants to nurse so I didn't nurse him, I didn't offer it at all I just cuddled him in and was in bed with him um, I don't actually know how long it took him to fall asleep because I fell asleep because I was knackered too um, so yeah uh, he... I was I fell asleep for like over an hour so I don't know how long it eventually took him but I was in there 30 minutes before I ended up getting into bed with him because he's just really really unsettled um, but he is sleeping through until between 7 and 8 in the morning so that is great when he does go out uh, so yeah I think we can say it is a positive experience we've moved okay it's gone well um, I will probably give you guys an update maybe in a month's time tell you how it has gone overall. Um, at the moment he is using um, the blanket from his room that he has and the quilt on top because it's quite quite cold at the moment um, but we will be looking to buy a proper set of toddler bedding. So yeah it's going okay. <laughs> a lot less stressful than I thought it would be actually. If you like this video give me a nice big thumbs up Hit subscribe and join our little Two Hearts family. Leave me a comment if you do have any tips for getting them to sleep a bit better when you transition into a bed or any ways of getting them to sleep on their own without you having to be in the room with them. That would also be wonderful. Uh, love you guys lots and I'll see you again soon. Bye! <laughs>